Hello everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. And in today's review, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Autobot Ratchet, the Autobot Medic himself. And we saw him in the Siege cartoon. Yes, we saw him in the Siege cartoon. Voiced by Raphael Goldstein. Oh, I think I really, really like Raphael's voice as Ratchet. I think it, it really, really works. Really definitely works. They so got a nice Autobot symbol on the front of the Cybertronian van. So yes. And again, I I can't wait to get the Earthrise Ratchet and Lifeline. Why why am I gonna get what am I go <laughs> why am I going to get Lifeline? It's just a green repaint of RC, but it has Ratchet. You need Ratchet with Ironhide, come on. You can't say no to Ratchet. No way man, no way. But anyway. He has some nice red paints all over the vehicle mode, some white and red motif, which is pretty pretty cool. Again, he has the big feet in the back, but who cares about the back? I don't care about the back. I'm, I'm fine with the front itself. I'm not even gonna look at the back and look straight at the feet. No, 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 no. I'm not some kind of, uh, you know, I'm not a barbarian, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I, I do like the red paint on the top here. It kind of looks like the siren of an ambulance. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, really nicely done. Now he is uh, a repaint and also an extensive remold of the Siege Ironhide. And speaking of Ironhide, let's bring him in right now for comparison. So here is Ratchet with Ironhide. And as you can see, you can see uh, on the front right there, the front bumper. It's definitely a different mold, and also the wheels are different. I didn't expect. I didn't really expect that. Also, these panels right here. Uh, these panels are pretty much the same. So they're pretty much the same. Uh, th these panels covering up the legs. They're not the same. They're they're different. And they have different arms as well. So yeah, different shoulders as well. Um, the feet are pretty much the same mold, I guess. I think. I could be wrong, I don't know, but hey, there's a lot of remolding on this guy. You come under here, this section right here is, is pretty much different. I mean, they do share a skeleton, but pretty much all has been remolded, has been reshelled. <laughs> Except for a, fi or for a few bits right here and there, I mean, like this chest piece is the same. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of remolding done to, the, to this figure, and I do quite like that. So yeah. So now, let us bring in the rest of the Siege Autobots so that we can see how they look together. Except for Jetfire, because Jetfire is huge, man. It's huge. So we'll bring in Ultra Magnus, bring in Prowl, bring in Cog, we'll bring in the Prime, we'll bring in the Mirage, we'll bring in Impactor, and we'll bring in Sideswipe, and then we'll bring in Springer. And now, we will bring in Hound, so you can see all the Autobots from the Siege toy line. Um, only one of them didn't even appear. <laughs> um, Springer didn't even appear. Um, I wish he had appeared in the show itself, but hey, it is what it is. I love the Autobot team. That's right, I'm still counting Impactor as an Autobot. You know, he has an Autobot symbol, so hey. I grew up with Impactor being an Autobot, okay? I grew up with him as an Autobot, not as a Decepticon. I always knew him as an Autobot. But anyway, we're not talking about Impactor, we're talking about Ratchet. So that is pretty much it for the vehicle boat comparisons. Okay, so now the comparisons are out of the way. So now let us get through his accessories. So he does include some weaponry. Um, he does include this thing. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing that he does include. And some nice sewer paint for this piece, I guess. It's like a like crane arm or some or some kind. I don't know, but he does include that. He also does include this little gun right here, done in a nice sewer paint. If my camera will focus, focus. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Very nicely done. It's actually casted in white plastic, but the whole barrel is done in a nice silver paint, which is really, really gorgeous. And also, he does include a medical wrench. That's right, he does include his medical wrench and everything. <laughs> so yeah, really, really cool. 
So now these two store in vehicle mode. So the wrench will just plug in to this port right here. I mean, you can actually plug this to the back, like so if you want to. But the official storage for the vehicle mode, this gun will just plug into that port right there, like so. And then this section right here, just bring that up and just rotate take this post down like so. And this will just plug in to the ports right on top of his arms. And there you go. So there you have weapon storage in the vehicle mode. So yeah, really, really nice. Really, really nice. So I guess now it's time to transform this guy into, uh, into another mode that I really don't feel anything for <laughs> so let's just unplug all this and just unplug all this so now to get to this mode is pretty pretty simple you want to just untab these panels right here just flip them to the back just flip them to the back like so and you want to split the legs first and you want to make sure that this the arm section right here just split them and just bring them out Bring them out and just rotate them forward, rotate them down like so. And then you want to tap the legs back together. Just tap this back together. Like so I guess that's the proper way. I, I'm not sure. I think I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I am back. So I had to uh, look up on some pictures to see if I'm doing this right. Okay, so now this arm section will just rotate up. Like so the port is facing upwards just rotate this up like so and there we go now this section right here you have to fold this in you have to fold this in fold all that in just split just tab the legs together and there you go and uh okay you got this deal going on here <laughs> so this is really really weird anyway so you now you want to take this section right here and just plug into that port like so just bring this down a little bit and just just plugs in right here like so and there are little tools just molded into the arm right there which is pretty cool which is really really nice but anyway so there you have ratchet in his kind of medical bay mode <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. I mean, what is this? It's just a robot half transformed. That's all it is. That's all it is. I mean, it can still roll. It's a rolling medical bay. I'll give them that. It's a rolling medical bay. Uh, <laughs> I literally have no idea what's going on here. I'm ser I'm serious. I have no idea what's what. What's going on here anyway? So um, let's continue. Actually, you want you can actually uh, bring out your other bots and just you know just lay them down onto this medical bay, I guess. I don't know, and just work on the bots themselves. <laughs> anyway, so let's put Cog out of the way. Anyway, so. <laughs> I really don't know about this mode anyway. I don't know why Hasbro did this, but um, I mean, I do appreciate it, but eh, it's still kind of weird. But anyway, so I just put this off to the side, and now we can actually continue on with the transformation to robot mode. So just split the legs, and you're done. You're done with the legs. That's all you have to do. And you have to put this down. It's very, very tight. And just rotate this. Uh, actually, actually not yet. You want to make sure you have to make sure you have to tab in the arms first, and then you rotate it around just like so, and then just untab the arms, just bring them down, rotate them so that the elbows are oriented properly. Just bring them down, rotate them, and then tip out this panel, and just put out this head, tap that into place, and then clip the chest in those slots and that is pretty much it so there you have siege ratchet fully transformed and into his robot mode obviously and you know what he's a pretty cool ratchet I do quite like him very very nicely done I very much like him so 
Let's get getting close here so we can take a look at his face sculpt. So let me raise up the camera a little bit more so we can see the face. There we go. So yeah, very nicely done head sculpt. I do quite like the head sculpt. It's very, very G1-y. Very nice and G1-y. Uh, black for the head crest, which is nice. Got blue for the eyes. Uh, nothing painted on the face, but it's meant to be white anyway. So yeah, so, yeah, really nicely done figure. I do quite like him. I mean, it's basically iron height in a different color, but there is a lot of remolding put into this figure. There's a lot of work put into this figure, and I do quite like that. And and these panels do not pop off anymore on Ratchet, thankfully. Thankfully, and they do tab in very, very securely. I do quite like that, so, yeah. Um, so, articulation, uh, pretty much the same as iron height. So, if you miss the articulation on Ironhide, you can always watch the review. So there will be a playlist. Uh, there will be a playlist in the description down below. So there's a link to that. So yeah. You know what? Fine. I'll go. I'll go through the articulation anyway. So the head is on a ball joint. It can rotate a full 360. It can look up a little bit. It can look down a little bit. The arms can rotate a full 360. You can use that hinge to move the shoulder upwards. The arms can move in and out. He does have a bicep swivel. He does, he does have an elbow joint slightly over 90 degrees. He does have a wrist swivel, which is nice. He also does have a waist swivel, which is really, really nice. The legs can move up that far, can move back that far. He can do the full splits. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have a knee joint slightly over 90 degrees. And uh, yeah, the, the feet do not pivot up and down, but there is a lot of ankle tiltage right there. So yeah, he's pretty poseable. Really, really poseable. So I do quite like that. Um, my main problem with the articulation is that the waist is a bit too loose. So sometimes you get to knock his waist out. So, so every time when you move the arms, his waist goes like that. So yeah, I mean, not a big deal breaker for me. So yeah, so now we can actually arm him up with some of his weaponry, so his wrench. You can actually take this out and you can have him hold the wrench if you want to, which is pretty cool. I mean, he's a doctor, he needs to hold his wrench. <laughs> and for this gun right here, you need to plug this right here and there is a port at the back and you actually plug in right here and just put this up. And there we go, so yeah, the gun is hanging off of his head, hanging over his head, which is really funny, <laughs> so yeah, but, but still, it's a pretty, pretty cool, I mean, you can actually rotate this around like so, to have that on the side, but it's meant to go over the top of his head, so, and I think we're pretty much done with the robot mode overview, so now we can move on to the comparison. So first, I'm gonna bring in the obvious comparison, Ironhide. So you can see the molding differences in robot mode. So they do share the hips, they do share thighs, but the crotch is definitely a different mold. The forearms, definitely a different mold. They share different hands as well, which is pretty cool. Again, different shoulders, biceps, they share. Uh, these front legs on the shins, they are different, so yeah. Yeah, a lot of molding differences in robot mode. I do quite like that. Very, very much. Very much indeed. But they do look good. They, 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 this, my tongue stops working. They do look good together, I will say. They do look good together. I can't wait to get the Earthrise uh, Ratchet figure so I can compare with this one. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So now, let us bring in the rest of the Autobots, so let me readjust the camera right here. Let me push them back a little bit. Let me readjust the camera because Jetfire is gonna be huge, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, <laughs> let us get the rest of the Siege Autobots that I've reviewed so far, and Ratchet is actually really, really shining <laughs> on the light, anyway. So, let's bring in the big boy, Jetfire. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. And then another big boy, got Peter Ultra Magnus. And then we have Spreading Ah. Then we have Optimus Prime. And then we have Mirage and Impactor. And then we have Hound, Prowl, 
And then last but not least, we got side swipe and cog. So there we go. So there you have the full Autobot team, almost the full Autobot team. So you can see how they look together and they look quite good together. In my opinion, they are a nice group of Autobots. Yes, I'm counting Jetfire and Infector as Autobots because they became Autobots in the show. You know, they became Autobots in the show. But anyway, so that is pretty much it for my Robot Mirrored comparisons. All right, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Autobot Ratchet. Um, yeah, he's a pretty, pretty cool figure. Uh, the Met Bay mode, just no. I, I, I don't like that mode. Uh, <laughs> I, I just can't pretend that it never existed in the first place. But overall, the vehicle mode definitely looks quite good. Definitely looks like a Cybertronian ambulance. Of course, um, there's a lot of red paint here and there, like on the arms, on the shoulders, on the shins, on the feet as well. There's the battle damage paint work on the feet as well, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Nice, uh, nice you know, nice attention to detail right there. Uh, I love the weapons. They are done in a nice sewer paint here and there. So that is pretty, pretty cool. I definitely love the wrench more than the little gun <laughs> because the wrench is pretty fitting for a doctor. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So um, yeah, um, yeah, this figure was unexpected, you know, because I was expecting more like a uh, straight repaint with a new head, but no, they did a lot to this figure. They did a lot of remolding. They have different, uh, like more, uh, <laughs> uh, Iron Hide and Ratchet. They have different wheels, different crotch, sorry, <laughs> different, different front of the shins, different forearms, different hands, different shoulders, different heads, obviously, and different front bumpers. Yeah, literally a lot of, a lot of it has been remolded to get Ratchet out of this mold. So, um, but unfortunately, in the show, Ratchet was just a straight repaint of, Ra uh, of, of yeah. <laughs> Again, my tongue stops working. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. What was I? What was I saying? Oh, we, oh yeah. Um, in the show, Ratchet was just a straight repaint of Ironhide with just a new head. That's it. I felt that it was lazy. Yeah, it was kind of lazy, but eh, eh, you know, at least for the toy, there's a lot of remolding done to it in robot mode and vehicle mode yeah pretty pretty cool figure um i can't wait for the earthrise ratchet because i think that would look wonderful in my opinion so yeah um as far as ranking ratchet from a scale of one to ten um i don't know i have to give him maybe a nine out of ten 9 out of 10, maybe he could use more paint here and there, like like on the sh on the thighs, could have used more of the uh, battle damage paint work, I think. So don't quote me on that, but I wish it could have that battle damage paint work on the thighs. So um, but yeah, but 9 out of 10, really, really well done, Hasbro. You did a great job on this figure. You literally blew my mind away. <laughs> my mind has been blown from this figure again. This is a Walgreens exclusive. Um, if I haven't mentioned that already, I'll mention it now. This is a Walgreens exclusive. So if you are trying to find a Siege Ratchet for your own collection, you can only find at the Walgreens at your area. I mean, in the United States only. Uh, uh, if you're in Malaysia, um, try to find it in Toys R Us. There's plenty of Siege Ratchets there, hopefully. Hopefully, but anyway, but, but, also, but I mean, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for any availability for any availability for this figure. I mean, if you want to, so if you want to get a seat ratchet of your own, go ahead, click the link to BigBadToyStore.com in the description down below, and also you can check out my Siege reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. So I'll post the link to that playlist in the description down below as well. Um, so yeah. Um, that is pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to, to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell icon down below as well so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. So, And uh, oh, just a little bit of update to the channel. There will be more things here and there. So later you will see a sneak peek to my next review for tomorrow so there will be a transformers the last night hound stop motion video
stop motion transformation from robot to vehicle mode so I will post that in a little bit so yeah so yeah I guess that is pretty much it for me to say so there you have the Transformer Siege Deluxe Class Autobot Ratchet and this is JJ Prime signing off peace out